Welcome back to DXB Today, where we're looking back on some of our favorite moments, especially our celebrity moments. One of my favorites was with astronaut from the Emirates, Mr. Sultan Al Niyadi. Take a look at this. I am at the UAE in space event at the Museum of the Future, ahead of the Mohammed bin Rashid Center's second mission into space, where this gentleman behind me, Dr. Sultan Al Niyadi, will be going to the International Space Station for a total of six months, making him the first Arab national to be in space for that long. I was very lucky to get a chance to catch up with both Dr. Sultan Al Niyadi and Major Hazza Al Mansouri ahead of their trip. Let's hear what they've got to say. Dr. Sultan, how are you feeling? I'm feeling great. I'm, uh, I'm a bit excited. Hopefully it's going to be a, a very successful mission. Six months is not uh, a short like duration, but uh, I feel ready. Hopefully uh, it'll be a very successful mission. Inshallah it will be. And uh, Major Hazza, what advice do you have for your brother Dr. Sultan ahead of his mission? So uh, Sultan, from the get-go, from the beginning, he was there for me, supporting me in the first mission as a backup crew. I am today here in the backup crew supporting him. So uh, the big advice is to enjoy it and make sure that you enjoy the view from there, uh, looking at Earth. Spectacular view indeed. So how has the knowledge and the training accelerated from your first mission to Dr. Sultan's imminent mission? Has the knowledge that you gathered while you were in space really accelerated the training for you? So basically uh, the first mission was a short mission, an eight days mission. So after that preparation, we went to NASA, uh, Houston, Johnson Space Center, where we uh, took the full qualification uh, for training for like long duration missions. Uh, we, we trained on the robotics arm, the Canad arm. Uh, we trained underwater, uh, MBL training, which is uh, qualified us to do spacewalk. And what else we did, Sultan? Uh, we did uh, T-30 flying. I'm not a pilot. Uh, that's why I was envying Haza of being a pilot, but um, it was a piece of uh, really interesting in training to be able to fly and communicate with towers and being able to uh, maneuver a very uh, high performance uh, aircraft. I hear you've got over 20 experiments for your time in space. Any that you're most excited about that you can tell us, of course? Um, what is exciting is me as a subject. So I'll be a subject to a lot of uh, scientific experiments. They will, uh, they, they will monitor my sleep. They will monitor my hearing and vision and the uh, cardiovascular. So all of these are uh, subject to change in, in, in microgravity. So we do this uh, before, during, and after the mission. So uh, they want to do this uh, test on us. I'm really excited to go back, land, and see what, uh, I mean, microgravity has uh, an impact on me. So um, that is something I'm looking towards uh, to see. We all know that Major Hazza took on his trip, Balalit, Saluna, Madruba, What's on the menu for you? Hopefully we can get an Emirati food over there, but uh, we still haven't confirmed uh, what sort of Emirati food. I'm going to ask him something. What's your favorite one? Yeah, um, good question. Well, if we have the possibility uh, to take something, I would love to take my mother's uh, cooking, but yeah, we can't. We have to find a way. Both truly inspirational gentlemen that represent the limitless vision and ambitions of this great country. Please join us in wishing them a safe journey and a safe return back to the UAE. Love that so much, Sultan Al Nayadi. He is actually a really, really lovely guy and a real life astronaut is so exciting. Right now, Nimi caught up with Bollywood actress Karina Kapoor Khan at the Sharjah International Book Fair for the launch of her latest book. Check this out. Tonight we're at Sharjah International Book Fair where I'm gonna be sitting down with one of Bollywood's biggest stars, Karina Kapoor Khan. Karina Kapoor Khan, welcome to the UAE. I mean, you're absolutely no stranger to it, so it's great to have you here. First of all, how are you? I'm very well, but yeah, feeling great and I returned to the UAE after five years, so really, really happy to be here. Oh, so excited. And, you know, I'm going to quote you now, and I don't know if you remember you saying this, but you said once, I don't want to do stardom anymore, I just want to do me. What is Karina Kapoor Khan's version of doing me? I think doing things that I love, doing things that I enjoy, um, doing things for myself also a little bit, you know, whether it's producing a film like Buckingham Murders, which is um, 
you know, it's like it's slightly more like an indie movie, which has got an amalgamation of different cultures in it. Like we're speaking Hindi, Punjabi, English. Mm -hmm. So uh, choosing roles that you know I want to do also a little bit mm -hmm. different, and yeah, balancing the commercial side of it as well. Mm. Well, you know, one thing you said in your book was. <sighs> I mean, there were so many things you said in your book, but one thing in particular which really struck me was when you were thanking your mother and your mother-in-law for instilling a level, conf a level of confidence in you when you were pregnant and going into motherhood and you had so much options for work as well. I think you're an icon for confidence. And, and I understand that during that time, it, it's a lot of mum guilt as well. T tell me how you have instilled confidence in yourself and how important that has been to instill in your children as well. I think confidence comes from also being nurtured, being loved. Um, I think my mum kind of, you know, gave me and nurtured me. It's like watering a plant, you know, it kind of, it needs that, it needs water to grow. Mm -hmm. So I think for children, they need love and nurturing from their parents to get the confidence. Mm -hmm. I'm very, very lucky to have had my mother and my father do that to me. I'm sure all parents try to do that to all their children. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm doing with Tim and Jay, mm -hmm. is, you know, um, of course, it's being a little strict, but at the same time, it's like, you know, pushing them and helping them to, you know, just, enjoy themselves, do what they love doing, mm -hmm. and kind of giving them that, you know, energy and confidence to do it. Yeah, absolutely. Last one, and I want to switch it up, just do a quick fire round. And your options are, um, tell me how it was, or pretty hot and tempting. So it's either a yes or a no. Okay, here are your situations. Karina Kapoor Khan, we have staying in with a movie and a takeaway on your night off. Is it tell me how it was, like, mm, or is it pretty hot and tempting? Definitely pretty hot and tempting. I thought so. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, wearing heels. Pretty hot and tempting. Okay, yeah. okay. Uh, getting a surprise party on your birthday. Tell me how it was. <laughs> I thought so. And last one, and I know the answer to this, but crime thrillers instead of rom-coms. I think everyone knows that I'm a big uh, crime thriller buff, whether mm -hmm. it's books or a show, yeah. that's my go-to. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Well, best of luck out there at Sharjah International Book Fair. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, Sharjah International Book Fair bringing in more and more celebrities. Now, if you enjoyed that, stay tuned because we've got more celebrity interviews coming up right here on DXB Today.